to Bindery Falls Car Park. There's a bit of a group of us, a good variety of vehicles amongst us. Interesting, last night I ran a night drive up to Craig's Hut and we had a couple of problems with Michael's Ranger. It was suffering a little bit of overheating in the transmission, but then last night we had an issue with the intercooler. So we put the Autofix 9000 and scanned up and it kept on coming up with an intercooler problem. We found that this wire had actually dislodged. So Michael pushed it back on and we hooked the Autofix 9000 back on and cleared all the codes. And so far so good, the, the old range has been going really, really well. So today, Bindery Falls is our first stop. We're then gonna to head to, to Bindery Hut, which is not far from here. And then we'll go up to Bluff Hut, Lovex Hut, probably around to Jamison. Um, we're just gonna get around and have a look at a lot of these high country huts and have a bit of fun. But for now, let's go for a walk up to Bindery Falls.
Well, we've arrived at Bindaree Hut and the Bindaree Camping Ground. This is a really nice stop off, nice flat area right on the river. And it's Mark and Russell after inspection of the, of the hut. So the group's having a little break before we head up the hill to Bluff Hut, which is our next location. But don't forget, this is a great camp spot, easy to get to from Bindaree Falls. Got drop toilets, lots of flat area, and it's right on the river. So stay tuned for part two, where we do visit Bluff Hut, Lovick's Hut, and we'll head around to the hidden treasure of Jamison Hut. Definitely worth a visit. So stay tuned, part two, the Victorian high country.